Welcome back to Praxero Channel. We are back with Cory. This game is so good, so good. In last episode, things get really, really dicey. Now we are in all in danger. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue with the next chapter, which is Nick chapter five. And without the further ado, let's go ahead and do this. Thank you so much for your amazing viewership. I really do appreciate you. If you enjoyed this episode, click the like button. That will help me greatly. Now, chapter five, white noise. All right, all right. We need to call for help. We should be... Uh... Well, Abby got hurt too, though. Hey. I couldn't find anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. Oh, shoot, I left my bag. I, I brought you this. Be cool. That was... Fuck, I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. How are you feeling? How are you, Abby? Yeah, we compassionate for once. How are you holding up? I'm, uh, well, I, I, I'm just happy you're okay. Are you okay? I'm sorry, I, I just asked you that. I... It's okay. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um, the... Oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so just in case. What happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Aww. Did anybody else hear that? Shh. Sit Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. I mean, we'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Hey, oh, that was a good decision. Okay, Kate Flame, it's time to be a badass. No. I mean, you should have the gun ready if someone will jump you right now before you will get and shoot. It's over with. Sheesh, Caitlin, I thought that you were good and smart. I don't think you are now. Person, right? I'm not gonna risk it though. But the premonition showed that Nick's gonna kill him, so maybe we should. Talk to him. Get the maybe red paint on our face too. Well, when I say red paint, the blood. Maybe I sh. No sign of them. When you find them, 
I'm gonna miss on purpose. Oh my gosh, I thought that they can talk. Jesus, what? What do you want? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp and well, like now that summer's over and, you know, is that like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Uh, sorry, Nick, what, what are you saying? Hey, don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, okay? What? Maybe I was misreading the situation back there, but... I kind of felt like a little bit more was gonna happen. Well, did you want a little bit more to happen? So are you dumb? Whoa, oh. Nick. Sorry. You didn't do I anything. Mean, you didn't even kiss her or hug her. Of course I wanted it to happen. I just didn't know if you did she too. She told you. That seems like such a long time ago now. You did want it to happen though. Uh, um. I, you can tell me. Yeah, I, I guess. <sighs> Just saying that because I'm hurt. What is going on with you, Nick? Nick. Are you kidding me? There's no time for... What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay. I got this. No. Oh, Caitlin lost the gun? Oh, my God. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Um. Let's hide. Quick. Oof. I don't know where we are. Hold the breath. Doesn't look safe yet. Hold it. Oh, shmackamoly. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. God, but we lost the freaking gun, Caitlin. What the hell? Your radio hut has like an actual radio. I thought it was just like for your morning announcements. Oh yeah, yeah. It used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, uh, it, you know, I mean, it, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be oh, their radio shit. and their and everything and. You know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day of camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology, it giveth and it taketh. So is, is that something like 
that you want to go into? Camp radio? No, like uh, DJing or music or something. Oh. Um, oh, yeah, I mean, I like shit, music, guys. but I think I want to major in um, quantum physics. Can you? Wait, what? <sighs> yeah. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Go faster. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Um... We need to hurry. Let's go fast as we can. Come on. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home. And then here, I, um... You're a wise, wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Um... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation and I overcompensated a little bit by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> All the time. Um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Oh my gosh, can we go? Well, actually, um, let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yes, please. Yeah, I like him. He's, that makes a lot of sense. Move. You have a beast behind you. Come on. I know where it was. Oh, we're not gonna lose any moment now. We're gonna go straight to the building. Ryan, why are you looking like this? Looks weird, man. Shit. We're gonna go directly there. Here it is, let's go. Inside. Huh. Okay, I don't care. But this is the building. All good? All good. All good? Let's go inside. What else? Go in the hot. There is a bad thing outside. I'm not gonna be outside. Why is Dylan smiling? Jesus. Oh, this place is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper here, it was barely working. It hadn't been used for years, and it took me a really long time, actually, to get this place cleaned up and looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC, okay? Okay, okay. Let me get this set up. All right. Anything over here we can use? The power tools? No. Um, that's, Mr. H wanted more storage, so it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever, so I think the range is about a mile. That's not... Oh. How do you even know all this stuff? Uh, I just kind of picked it up. Hmm. The tech technical stuff has always been a little uh, hard for me to get a handle on. Well, if you like, I could show you the robes. Like a class? 
Can you stop yeah, flirting? Easy. It's like, not time climbing. for flirting, guys. As much as I'm up for your romance, up, like, can we move on? Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. Come on, Dylan. Hello, how's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, SOS, uh, this is a, an emergency, S save our ship, come on down, please help us. <laughs> Yeah, I do good. Was that swarm of bears? Dylan, oh yeah. my god! Herd of bears. Yeah, I've heard of bears, but oh my god! <laughs> All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do oh all this techie stuff. Oh my god, stuff. Dylan! Okay, what yeah, the sure. Hell? You see it, Ryan? Barricade the door. Check it. I got a ping on the radio, but no response. I'm gonna have to... Wait, did he, did he say lodge? I don't know, huh? Two males in the radio shack near the cabins. Another couple unaccounted for. Copy that. That's totally us. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 what the fuck, man? How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Hey, hey, let's, let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's, let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. No! Ah! Oh my God. What? Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? Yeah, Ryan, why didn't you tell him? I, I, I wasn't sure, man. Fuck, what the fuck was that? I have no idea. Down, Dylan. Fuck. What? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. 
Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can um, tell them to hide or something. Yeah. Uh. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get, in, get, get into a cabin now. Go! Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Oh, my gosh. We did something wrong. What now? Stop being jumpy, Dylan. On your desperate. Okay, is there anything we can do? I don't know. I, I don't know. It's just an animal, right? I mean, maybe we can scare no. it off? Uh... Well, it, yeah, I mean, if it, if it has hearing like a dog, maybe it, we, we can play like a, like a really high-pitched feedback loop and just blast it. And, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but you know. Let's do it. Do it. Okay. <sighs> okay, come on, Dylan, let's do this. Um... I don't know if they're sensitive to noise. Oh. Maybe I will bring the nervous directly to them. It's almost. Take your breath. Hey, Dylan, just take your breath. I'm sure you can yeah, figure it out. He's freaking out. He needs to calm down. That's what we need. Yeah. To, we need to calm him down. Right. We cannot be. Uh, he will make some mistake. Calm down, Dylan. There's something missing. I. Do. What's missing? Oh crap. It pulled the wire. Fix it. I'll cover you. Do it now. Go quickly. Oh no, Dylan. No. That's not going to work. Chainsaw. Are you sure? Yes, fucking do it. Fucking do it. Oh my god! Oh. Get the wire, get the wire. What? Get the wire. The, the thing, get it. On it. Plug it, plug it into the thingy. Hey, uh, keep pressure on. Uh. What do I do? What do I do? The button, the button. We blew the speaker. We maybe uh, should try to kill it, though. The trick. Uh, nice work, Dylan. <laughs> oh, right. oh, fuck, my hand. Right, right. Okay. Uh, just hold on. Why did you do that? You told me to. Oh, it was a bad idea. 
I know, we cannot jump immediately to cut the hand. I think that was not a good idea. Is it safe? I don't know. That thing's gone, but we heard those hunter guys on the yeah. radio. What? Picked up their walkie signal. They knew we were here. Fuck, you get a message out? I'm not sure anyone heard it. <sighs> Great. What the hell was going on at... Oh my god! Tell them what happened! Oh, um... I'm okay. I, I, I mean... I, I'm not, um... But it's it doesn't doesn't hurt. Okay, you're in shock. Holy fucking shit! Oh my god, shit. you should have uh, not cut his that, hand. People, do this? I'm so stupid. No. Well, sort of. It, it... Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. Yeah, you. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's there? Who was she? Should we follow her? <sighs> was it Laura? Or Lauren? Sorry. Ah, oh, shit, Dylan. What is that? I think we fucked up with Dylan. I think we shouldn't have cut his hand. I mean, come on, he would have lived. Or maybe he would turn, but... Oh my gosh, I didn't do well. Like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's take a look once more. No. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere We're out there. Old lady. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets too. Worth remembering that. Aww, okay. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. <laughs> All right, people. Thank you so much for bearing with me. If you enjoyed this, click the like button. I will uh, finish the episode over here. Next time, you will be on a chapter six. Uh, Jacob, and uh, if you're coming back to my channel, consider subscribing. And until then, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.